Welcome back Crypto Monks. In this video, you'll learn about support and resistance levels within a price chart. Support and resistance are typically drawn as lines on a price chart that represent predicted confluence of supply and demand. In these locations, buyers and sellers are temporarily gridlocked in a battle over the future direction of price action. And they play a key role in deciding when to buy and sell an asset that you're trading. I want to start by explaining that support and resistance are opposite sides of the same coin. At a fundamental level, they're found in the same way. They are affected by the same considerations and they behave simply as mirror images of each other. I will discuss support first, but keep in mind that everything I cover can be applied in an opposite configuration to resistance. Support is all about the balance of supply and demand. By definition, support is found after the price of an asset moves downwards. When there aren't enough buyers at the current price, the sellers will keep undercutting each other by lowering their prices so that their sale orders will go through. And yet, not all sellers are willing to continue dropping their prices. So sell pressure slowly lessens as the price drops, getting weaker as it approaches the support line. Simultaneously, lowering prices catches the attention of additional buyers, strengthening the buying demand. If those buyers bring enough purchasing power to the market to balance out the reduced selling pressure, then it will result in a pause in downward price movement. A battle has begun for control between the local bulls and local bears, which will eventually determine whether the price goes up or down after the pause. This all tends to happen on or near our imaginary support line. Repeatedly testing the same level of support, especially over the longer term timeframes, confirms that we have accurately identified an existing support zone. It therefore strengthens our conviction that it's good support range. However, repeatedly testing support in the short term can weaken the strength of the support by selling through the existing book of buyers, leading to buyer exhaustion. This applies to scenarios where the support range successfully fights off the downwards trend, sending the price higher. However, price swiftly returns to the same level. Each time the price returns to the support range is called a test, and each test eats through more and more of the backlog of buyers. Because there has not been much time between each test, there's also not been enough time to bring in new buy pressure to the market. As the order book thins, the support becomes weaker and weaker, and eventually all the buyers in the support level have their orders filled, and that means the sellers have broken through the support range, opening up the path for a continuation of the downwards price trend. Hey Mugs, taco.eth here. Here's a quick example of support being tested several times on the daily time frame with Bitcoin. Okay, as you can see here, it tests this support at least three times. So for me, that's the minimum three times. Then you can safely say that's an area of support. Okay. This would be a great area of interest for buyers because it's bounced off there three times. Now let's take a quick look back to May 12th as an example. Okay. May 12th, this is an area of support at 28.7K. And as we click through, we can clearly see that it tests it multiple times. So it would have been safe to play if you're playing on the small, uh, the smaller time frames to take a quick long because until it's invalidated right there, this was a big area of support. And that's it. Pretty simple. As long as it hits it three times, you're good to go. That's an area of support. Talk to y'all soon. Finding support levels in a price chart helps a trader identify prices that represent better than average entry points to purchase an asset. Support trend lines are major price levels where supply and demand find a temporary balance expressed by a pause in price action. Once you can successfully identify them, they can provide important data that can help you improve your ratio of winning trades and maximize your overall chances of consistent profit. Among's content is not financial, tax, or other advice. Never transact based on it. 
do your own research, and consult certified advisors. Investing is risky and you could lose everything. 